from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist April Loveland. Good morning, everyone. Well, let's take a live look over the Virginia Beach Ocean front. You know, the clouds, the mist, the gloom, the fog, not stopping these folks from getting out and getting in the first walk of 2022 and temperature wise it's nice and mild out there but we do have more rain on the way not so much today just keeping a slight 30 percent chance for our northern communities and the rest of us can deal with a little bit of mist and drizzle out there today 90 percent though heading into sunday that's looking like our wetter day 70 percent chance heading into monday nothing for tuesday and then a 10 percent chance by wednesday first morning radar out there right now you can see all the rain a lot of this going to stay to the north of us which is good news it's going to slide just to the north of us but we we are still dealing with some showers there for northeastern North Carolina or northeastern North Carolina for the peninsulas and for the eastern shore. The rest of us looking mainly dry with just some mist and drizzle and fog out there, but we do have a possible rain snow mix early on Monday. I know this is what everyone's talking about or thinking about. We have an area of low pressure that's going to be moving up the coast early Monday. Now this is after a cold front moves through the area bringing us rain and some much colder air that's going to be filtering in Sunday night. So let's time it out here. As we head through the day today, you'll notice a lot of the heaviest rain staying just to the north of us. You'll see mostly dry conditions as we head through the day today. One of the other big stories, the mild conditions, the windy conditions that we'll see as we head through the day. Sunday 2 a.m. We're going to see that cold front approaching, moving through the area, bring us at, bringing us a chance for maybe a couple storms, some heavy rainfall. This is 11 a.m. on Sunday, so if you do have some plans, I would make sure they're indoor on Sunday. As we head through Sunday night, though, colder air filtering in, that area of low pressure moving in. This is Monday 4 a.m. You can see that rain, a lot of it in our area, switching over to a snow or even a little bit of a wintry mix. We'll continue with that as we head through Monday morning. This is 7 a.m. You can see it continuing to transition as we head down into northeastern North Carolina. So how much snow can we expect? Well, let's look at a few of our models here. None of them are really agreeing too much, which is pretty normal for this time of year. Here's our Euro forecast. This one isn't too bad. I do like this one. This is putting anywhere from about really nothing up to two inches there for the eastern shore. Here's another model, our GFS. This one's going a little crazy with our forecast here. Not expecting that much snow, but just want to see. That's kind of our outlier here. I do also like this model here. This is our in-house, our graph model. This is kind of matching a little bit up with our forecast. I would say maybe an inch or less of snow for most of the area. We have to remember it's been very warm out there, so any snow that falls is really not going to stick. It will stick on some elevated surfaces, the grass, uh, maybe some pavement, but it's not going to last a whole lot because we're in the 70s today. We'll be close to 70s tomorrow, and then we have that big temperature drop. So we don't have a lot of cold air out there to keep the snow around, so a lot of it will actually melt as it's reaching the ground. Here's the next couple days after that, though. Mostly sunny on Tuesday, 46, partly cloudy by Wednesday, some showers late on Thursday, and then as we head into Friday, we'll see some scattered showers there as well. So, Angela, pretty crazy weather over the next couple of days, very spring-like today, and then we're saying hello to winter on 